It's my feel good breakfast show. You're on your feel good breakfast show right here on S3, and you know it is the only way to start off your morning. And this is why, as your Expresso family, we always make sure that we bring you the best. Now, this morning, listen. I want you to go wake up the kids if they have not joined you as yet because, you know, TikTok is their thing and we are joined by two people who found themselves both 100% finding a whole lot of popularity on TikTok, but then they took it all the way to everywhere else because these two humans came together to give us beautiful music in July of 2023, which was their first joint single, and then... They went on to give us one of the biggest songs of the year, my friend. I am talking about Ntolile. Yes, of course, it is the two people that we have been talking about all morning. It is none other than Maverick Muji as well as Noni. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Guys, they don't make that much noise for everyone, hey? It's so no, early, hey? Uh... I'm just <laughs> Oh, what a Lucky. warm welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, very much, guys. Thank you so much for coming to join us. Mm. First and foremost, I want to start with you, Noni, because I feel like you're somebody who's always loved music, but then you actually wanted to be an actress first. How does it yeah. feel that you are like, okay, I'm doing something else I love instead of acting? Okay, so um, I think this has to do more with God. Mm. You know, when we say God, I mean, we plan, but God, God decides. decides. Yes. I felt like that is what happened in this case because um, as much as I, when I went to university, I studied something else, which yes. was um, community development studies. Acting. And then I've always wanted to study um, acting, yes. but I found myself in the music industry somehow, yeah. Yeah. which I, like I said, we plan. But God, God decides. decides. <laughs> I love that. Babes, I know exactly what you're talking about. I studied a BSc. I'm nowhere near it right Look now. Look at you. <laughs> nowhere near it. But Maverick, would you speak to us? Yeah. How did you two find each other, especially in this space where there's so many people on TikTok? You could have been collaborating with anyone. How did you guys get to know each other? Um, getting to know each other or meeting each other? Meeting each other. Oh, okay. Mm. So, um, mm. Sasha, I never see it. Yeah. Yeah, so she was doing Nai's and Nai's and Nam, and then we just... Yeah, yeah. came across each other somehow. Uh-uh, Pika, -uh, <laughs> look, guys, was in the party, was at the library. Oh, Where did actually, you guys find each other, Kini? No, um, it was um, after I'm a class. Mm. So it was, we were going home. Yes. Yeah, now I'm getting a poem. I'm going to get a poem. Yeah. It was meant to be. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I absolutely love it for South Africa as well because, guys, the music that you make, it is so beautiful. It's angelic. And I think that it speaks to so many different people. And this is why you were able to get, what, 2 million views on YouTube in one month? Yeah. Over a million streams on Spotify in a month as well? Yeah. yeah. Speak to me about that, my love, because I feel like it's such a huge milestone for you guys to hit at such a young age. What did it feel like when that happened? It felt unreal, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, when, we, when, we, when we noticed our numbers going up from the time we got 50K, 100K, we were like, okay, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is unreal. With um, our first single, it was normal numbers. Mm. And then this time around, we didn't expect it. I don't want to lie. Yeah. Um, people did receive the song well on TikTok when we first posted it without... Um, when we hadn't released the song at that time. Mm. Um, so we were, we were expecting the numbers to be better than the first single, yeah. but we didn't expect a million in a month. Come I on. do not want to lie. And it's just we rising. Didn't. And yeah. a million, two million. Yeah. It's just like, what is this? What is happening? Oh, guys, it speaks <laughs> yeah. to your talent, man. Wow. And that's the exciting thing. Now, speak to me about when you guys make music. Do you write your own music? Do you produce your own music? How does it work? Yeah, so, um, yeah, we write our own music and uh, we work with different producers, obviously. Yeah. Um, or some, some Gilly, so makes beats, and then Nation Cross is the one that actually um, engineers the sound. So, yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah, say Pale Latin. I say love pale. that. How yeah. about and, and speak to me about your parents very quickly, especially speaking about the fact that you were studying something else. Did they just accept the fact that you guys are like, okay, cool, I'm going into this music thing now? Um, actually... It, because we have our degrees now, yeah. like we went to school, we studied, we graduated, which is what most parents want. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I think it's at that point where we let you do what you want. Because oh, we, oh. we are still working. Uh, we, are, we still have our nine to five. Okay. And then we're doing music on the side oh, for wow. now. Okay. So it's not like a, a, com a complete uh, transition. So they don't really have a problem with it. 
I love mm. that. Kids, did you hear that? Education first. <laughs> first and foremost, thank you very much. Yeah. And I'm scholar. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but then, my love, speak to us about then how it was just entering the music industry. Because, of course, you guys have got your degrees. Mm. You've got that confidence to be like, I am a citizen who is now paying tax and contributing. Yeah. <laughs> but how was it just stepping into the music scene? Um, so, yeah, as, so as she mentioned, Uti, yeah, our parents um, are about thinking about that mm. because for me, um, I've always done music. I mean, it's, mm. it's been a while, probably more than 10 years, man. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. So, sure. it's, uh, I've always had, support yeah. support music wise, my family's always been behind me. So, and then in Guko Gonke Loko, it's 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 been easy. That's um, good. It's, it's been easy because it's it's natural. I could say that. I love yeah, it. It's natural. Yeah. Oh, guys, your your talent <laughs> is natural, and I cannot <laughs> okay. wait for you guys to absolutely blow us away. But it is about to be a beautiful time right here on Expresso because, like I said, we only ever bring you the best. A whole lot more is going to be happening right here on your Feel Good Show. But this is why you need to stay tuned. Let's go find out what is going down in Cape Town for now, though. It's my Feel Good. You're still watching your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on S3. And every single morning, we open you up to some of the most incredible talent in South Africa. And this is why, by my side, I've got goosebumps. It is two young people who are taking the South African music industry by storm. Yes, I am talking about the queen, Noni, as well as the king, Maverick Muji. And please, everybody, put your hands together because they're about to perform their hit song, Gim Tolile, right here on Expresso. <laughs>
out in the music industry but already taking over and that just tells me that the music industry of South Africa and the world is safe baby but for now we got to get back to you and who's standing by with the news headlines <laughs>